Greetings everyone, it is me, Gigalem, and welcome back to Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows. In the last part, we cleared the last of the Order of No Quarter. And in this part, well, first we're going to change our Ecor, or change our cloak. So, let's show off the last one, the Goo Garment. I might be making a mistake with choosing this one, but, uh, yeah. The Goo Garment, uh, uh, the Goo Garment allows you to bounce off walls, and you might get some extra height, and you, and the flips may also do some damage. But with that being said, let us finally begin the Tower of Fate. So, yeah, we do not have that many, uh, Cypher Coins left. And can I just tell you something that, uh, I didn't think to do? Turns out those three cypher coins I missed in the outtakes, you will likely see in 2024. Yeah, they're right here. That's three of them. How did I miss those for so long? Let's actually change our... Uh, our casing because uh, this isn't exactly a stage I want to be using uh, uh, using the uh, the lob casing unless it's uh, unless it's uh, uh, par for the course. I keep forgetting about that. Those darn fish—they're the up and downs of this game. So yeah, this stage uh, this stage should be familiar to you. There's nothing different uh, uh, between. Uh, there's almost nothing different between this stage uh, for Plague of Shadows and uh, and Shovel Hope. In fact, we can just take a shortcut and then just get our uh, cipher coin that way. We're not even done with the cipher coin uh, grabbing. And as he saw there. That is the goo garment doing its work. If it hits a wall, it will cause uh, it will cause me to rebound off of it. And you could indeed use it to your advantage and such. Oof, there we go. This is what we want to use a lob case for. So yeah. Also, be careful of that bomb. <laughs> Ooh, I almost jumped into spikes, but that's the power of the of the of the uh, goo garment. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Anyways, we should be fine and dandy from here on out. Also, if you have max life with your one potions, you should be fine. Like, you should be, like, uh, fine to heal if need be. Usually, I just use them up just to not waste the potion and such. But, if you know what you're doing in this game, you may not even need these uh, health tonics in the first place. So, like that. <laughs> just rebound and get back to safety. Wait for it to show up, and there we go. Now I'm going to bring the uh, the vats with me. Oh, I really hate dealing with those enemies. But uh, that's not what I meant to do. But I'll take it. I wish it was much easier to aim with that. Okay. There we go. And would you look at that. That was pretty cool now, wasn't it? This would be really fun to use. 
I do wonder if there are like certain challenges where you use some of the less wieldy ar armor, like use your worst, like use the armor you feel you would struggle in and see if you can just uh, think of what situations to come up with. As far as, okay. I keep thinking there's going to be more beyond that, but that's about it. Just make sure you blow that, they just, the reason why the impact fuse basically outclasses most of the, yeah, most if not all the fuses in this game um, is basically you just want to do contact damage. And of course, the crushing pill, uh, the crushing uh, ter uh, moving terrain uh, was able to get him. So let's just get that terrain while we can. And uh, right now we have another uh, dilemma. We have to deal with these particular uh, mooks. And just like that, my swab moves can uh, can uh, do some uh, serious tricks. Whew. Anyways, these uh, these are liquid samurais, I believe. I think that's what they're called. It's been a while, but yeah, they are new to this stage because. Maybe there was a more oriental setting uh, for a stage uh, to explain them, but I don't know. Could be past heroes or anything. Who knows? Here's another oriental samurai. Or liquid samurai. Oof. Just be absolutely careful in this stage because there are some cases where you don't want to uh, uh, jump first jump. And there's a lot of Cypher Coins in this stage. Oof. There's like one right here. So let's just... Oh. Just gotta adapt to your situation. Gotta double check and see if, uh. Yeah, it looks like that's about it for this area. <laughs> I keep for. Uh, that was my fault, so I'll be back. Uh, it's a good thing that money doesn't really mean much uh, anymore at this point. It's just unfortunate that... Uh, oh, yeah. I'll... Of course. Uh, unfortunately, I have to wait for my... Uh, Oof, that is actually a pretty uh, dangerous move to make. And so is that. Yeah, there's like no healing items here. So that means we can just go, uh, go on forward. Just, at least this uh, silhouette part of the stage is just uh, more for testing your sight and cosmetics and such. Oof. Just be absolutely careful with... Okay, I need to heal, I need to heal. Just 
be absolutely careful. Because basically you want to pay attention to what you see in the like in the stage in terms of like what's actually being rained on so that you can definitely tell what's real and what's not. So this next part is definitely another case of that, only it's a much it's much more extreme. Of course there has to be cipher coins in uh, over bottomless pits and such. So yeah. So oh god. Ugh. Just all these cipher coins are put together for a reason. But yeah, that's 160, which means we have all of them. Whew. Black Knight, must I suffer you again? As long as you pursue the Enchantress, I will pursue you. Great. <laughs> I could use the entertainment. Just one thing. Why were you talking to Mona? She was trying to bribe me to give you the Enchantress's essence without a fight. Mona? Was looking out for me? Being incorruptible, of course. I would hear no such talk. Mona did all that to protect me. I must have that potion out of the way. I may have said the wrong. I might have said that read the line wrong, but yeah, it's time to face uh, Specter Knight once again. Believe me, we're going to probably need some. Uh, hey, we're going to need the lobbing uh, uh, casing for this uh, because he's probably going to be jumping a lot. And he's definitely going to be flying a lot, so be careful because he can do the downward thrust on you. He's also going to be doing this meteor attack. It's two from the left, two from the right, and there's going to be the case, and then he ends with uh, t uh, a cross formation. He's also going to be doing, uh, going to be digging up uh, lots of debris to shovel at your location. Be careful. This is a good reason. Like, the lobbing, uh, the lobbing casing can be a bit unwieldy. And if he downward stabs one of his meteors, he will split the meteor and use it as an attack. But of course, sure you again! Clearly you care for her, but why go to such lengths? Why a potion that makes you all-powerful? I'm not out to rule the world. Heh. I just want to become stronger, and maybe then she'll love me. Fool! Can't you see that she already does? No. The potion is the only way. And into the castle I go. So yeah, in a failed recording, I was going to go and get those last three before beginning the final stage. So I decided to look it up. Yeah, you can definitely tell that I was like, are you kidding me? But now, we're going to ascend to madness. For this one, we're going to need drop. Because, uh... There's a lot of eels down here. And we're going to need to make sure that that we make it all the way. I just gotta make sure not to have the fastest death possible again because that tends to happen with me. That's kind of a trend in this Let's Play with the outtakes. You'll see it in 2024. Basically, fastest death possible. Where I just uh, take, where I just fall in battle in a pit somewhere early in the level, and it's happened to me several times. I do recommend you use the the okay, need a name for this Arcana, the smoke bomb for this uh, for stages like this because there are a lot of spikes. Another thing I recommend, the vat. <laughs> 
Okay, wasn't intentional, but uh, it was a happy accident. So, yeah. I forgot that Liquid Samurai was there. How did I not see him? How did I not see him? Oh. But, yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. A little too close for comfort, uh, don't you think? But, yeah. I hope I didn't miss anything in that room. Because, unfortunately... We're gonna need to take some risks to get this one. Oh, I'm admittedly freaking terrified. Oh, okay, need to be careful here. Oh, okay, I need to switch to lob. <laughs> Welcome to Giga Does Something Stupid. <laughs> I need to stop doing these absolutely crazy moves and still survive. Like, I seriously can't keep getting away with it. It's that, it's that freaking ridiculous. It feels like something should be in those walls, but there isn't. Of course, we have more... Uh, ugh. Oh. Again, shouldn't have survived that. I really shouldn't have. But I need to be more careful here. Wait. Oof. But, uh, yeah. It's all about perilous jumps here and such. And this is where your true test of skill is definitely going to come in handy. And, again, you have the VAT, which is, uh, very useful. So you're probably wondering, how the heck do you get past that? You have to go over it. Gotta be careful and time your jump carefully. Jump burst and oh, you! <laughs> I am so sick of dealing with you. More. It's time for more uh, treacherous, uh, oof, platforming, and another one of you. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, yo, <laughs> man! I am glad I chose this particular uh, cloak for the uh, for this level because I am doing some trick shots. Also, yeah, there was a music uh, uh, note under there, so I had to get it. Oh no, I know what's coming up. I know what's coming up. And I yeeted myself into doom. All because I wanted to get a coin. Ugh. Ironic, I died before this section instead of at this section. Oof. This might be a bad section. Uh, to, uh... Oh, gosh. And that's why I don't like these sessions. Uh, section. I should have been using the smoke bomb for that. Oof. So, yeah, I'm probably gonna die the most here, too. So...
So, yeah. Ugh. I'm gonna die for a music track. I don't care. It was worth it. It was worth it. <laughs> Back in a moment. Okay. That's what you're supposed to do there. Oh. This is why I don't like these sections. Because you have to be on the lookout. Yeah, because I have to be absolutely quick. So that way I don't miss a coin. Oof. Probably my quickest uh, send ever. Oh gosh. Where did I miss two? I really hope it isn't a, another one of those uh, it's a bit too... Oh, okay, good. I was going to be annoyed. Mint condition! Yeah! That is all 420! Whew. We don't have to get any more, arc, uh, more cypher coins. So, yeah, there's only one thing left to do. First, we're just going to top up so, because we can. But... And... Oh, look who's showing up to our little soiree. Yo... Oh, right. You're late on your membership dues, Alchemist. And now the time has come for you- Ow! Sho- Sh Shovel Knight? You let him here too? What madness is this? We'll deal with him soon. But first I want to know why Plague Knight is showing his mask around here. Yes, yes, you stole all my essence, you maniac. All I have left is my wits. Unlike wits, King Knight. You actually have some essence. It, it's, it's merely weakened. We're as strong as a team, but you can't. But you just care for you. For shame. Ha! <laughs> My mate's right. Isn't that the order's motto? I just took some initiative. We'll never stop for this. You go pay for what you have done, Plague Knight. <laughs> That's the salt. All right. I get to take my revenge out on the one that gave me the most trouble. This. This is... <laughs> hey. <laughs> well, now it's time for the guy that uh, I used my freaking filter over. Now, good luck trying to do this without taking a single hit. Also, I know this is just a video game, but... Uh, one air one be wet and when they're uh you know well again the power of the staff of striking
Then, now we're at Polar Night. Let me see. Time to throw some more snowballs. Just get out of the way and blow him up. And also stand on the spikes because... <laughs> and he was almost dead. Ugh. Yeah, so if you fall to one of them, you have to do all of them, and it's always in a random order. So yeah, I tend to have the worst uh, luck trying to fight uh, Spectre Knight. Oof. What am I freaking doing? I need lock casing for this. Yeah, you're not striking lightning tonight. Alright, now it's time for uh, for the schemer. Yeah, he, is, he does not have a lot of HP. So just use what you learn and then just uh, fight every boss uh, as you expect inspected them or with the winning strategy you found. Ugh. Again, what am I freaking doing? There! Sure you can! Now for the one I fell to the first time. So glad this game doesn't have a life system because, uh... Pretty sure that would have been, uh... A bit too nuts. Because he's such a big target, and he's always going to be, uh... I never know how to fight him cleanly, admittedly. Uh, like, I can just never fight him cleanly. Like, I literally have to play dirty. Like so. Alright, time for Mole Knight. And that's how good the staff of striking is. You see how quickly I I eviscerated him. Now to eviscerate another. It's gonna try to blow you in. Ugh. Slice you straight, uh, straight in half. 
And now it's time for the guy I uh, have to talk into something to get his, uh, to get his proper voice. <clears throat> be careful about his strikes. Just get close when you're able to strike, but be careful of that attack because he takes away a good portion of your gold. Uh, that was unintentional, but that was cool. All right, time to face the time to face the charlatan king. Of course, he's very easy to approach, and of course, how fitting that uh, shovel knight ends up being the last one. He even uses his own trinkets against you. Yeah, the so-called useless trinkets? Yeah, now he's laughing. He's actually pretty challenging uh, because you two are on even fo footing. But, of course, Whack! <laughs> now, the um, uh, give us a hand, Shovel Knight. You wouldn't leave us to hang here, would you? And Shovel Knight just basically leaves them to hang. However, Plague Knight has his own ideas. Hehehe. <laughs> Now that's what they call a party. Enjoy the cleanup. And with that cleared, next, uh, if you want to donate, there are a couple of links in the description below. Any amount helps. And if you want to subscribe uh, for a series like this, just hit that button, hit the bell, and you'll be on your way. But you don't have to if you don't want to. The thought is appreciated. With that being said, I hope you're taking good care of yourself, and I shall now bid you adieu.